Hello, this presentation is about generating and coding ladders at scale. One of the key objectives in video streaming is to take a video source and distribute that to as many different devices and as many different consumers as possible. Those devices typically use technologies called adaptive bitrate streaming that can select which resolution and bitrate works best for that particular device or those particular network conditions. So for ABR streaming to work, somewhere in the network, you need to prepare what's called encoding ladders. So the concept here is you take that high definition video source and then you prepare that same content um, from the original resolutions down to different resolutions and different bit rates so that the adaptive bit rate streaming servers can select which resolution is uh, the best match for the network conditions and the device capabilities. But the final thought here that I wanted to leave with you is that the bandwidth required to distribute this encoding ladder through the network is typically about 2.5x what the original source bandwidth would be. There's two options for encoding uh, capacity infrastructure. One is building that infrastructure in a central data center. The, the idea here is you generate the encoding ladders in the central data center, but you distribute those full encoding ladders to each of the edge data centers for ABR streaming to work. The key benefit of central encoding is building that capacity using economies of scale, leading to the lowest capex. But the drawback of this approach is the need to distribute that full encoding ladders from the central to the edge data centers where your ABR streamers would be located, resulting in high ongoing OPEX for the full ladder distribution. The alternative, and in fact the industry trend underway, is moving that encoding capacity to the edge. Now one Drawback is in fact that you would have to build more encoding capacity because you're distributing it into your edge locations. But in fact, that uh, extra upfront cost is more than outweighed by the benefits of much lower ongoing bandwidth OPEX. In fact, we're reducing this bandwidth on these links, uh, that 2.5X factor that we keep talking about. So the overall benefit is in fact, this infrastructure can give you the lowest total cost of ownership when you look at both the OPEX and CAPEX costs involved. Generating encoding ladders at scale requires extensive processing power, especially for live streaming, which will require even more infrastructure. And with video trends towards uh, more growth, higher resolution, and more complex codecs, this problem is only going to get worse. Uh, so the most common infrastructure for doing encoding ladder generation would be software encoding on compute servers. Uh, variations on this would be cloud native uh, solutions that work in containers or virtualization. The key benefit for this approach is the flexibility because you can use that uh, infrastructure for different uh, software workloads at different times of the day. But the drawback is this has the most processing infrastructure, requires extensive amount of equipment, and would also have your highest power, highest real estate, and highest costs. Uh, the alternatives are to use hardware acceleration for your encoding ladder generation uh, using graphical processor units or FPGAs. So you can see that you're reducing your equipment and you're also lowering your power. To generate encoding ladders at scale, NetInt Technologies is introducing the CoDensity T408 video transcoders. These very small compact modules are based on ASIC technology. They're, they're built into a U2 form factor that is designed to plug into a special class of server called an NVMe server. So the benefit is you get very high density, high encoding quality, but in the least rack space, the lowest power, uh, while delivering also very low latency. If you would like to learn more about encoding generation at scale, then please visit our website for the latest white papers and information.